What's up guys? It's me Amelia and I'm back with another book review and discussion. And this time I'm doing Paper Princess by Erin Watt. And um, Erin Watt is a pen name for authors Jen Frederick and L. Kennedy. So for those of you who don't know, Paper Princess is a contemporary novel. So it's basically like set in the modern time. I would definitely give this book a 5 out of 5. It literally took me one day to read it. Like, I bought it, I came home, I read it, and I just finished it that day because it was that good. I couldn't stop at all. And then I read the second book immediately the next day. And like, I stayed up until 6 a.m. reading this. I started at like 1 a.m. because I sleep very late. I planned to go to sleep at like 3, but then I just... I checked my phone after I finished the book. I expected it to be like 4 or 5 because I have my curtains, I can't see the sun. And then it's like 6 a.m. and I'm like, oh, it was that good. So I usually don't really enjoy contemporary books. I prefer ones with like magic or like dystopian stuff. Like not a book that is set in like the modern society where like Snapchat and Facebook is used. It's literally been so long since I read one of those books that's like set in like 2015 or like 2017 like every book I read like there's not even like a year it's just like some dystopian supernatural magic stuff so I decided to give this book a chance kind of I bought it because I didn't know it was a contemporary book but I ended up being really glad that I bought it the blurb on the back of the book definitely drew me in like I was at the bookshop and then I read the back and then like it was like so good and I was like I have to get this so this book is basically about this girl named Elle Harper. Um, her mom got sick, like, I think she got cancer or something, and then she needed money, so she be became like a stripper at the age of 15. And then her mom died, and then her mom died when she was like 17. She moved and went to school for like fake signing her mom's signature because she didn't want to like go to a foster home. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the details, but... Her dad doesn't know that she exists, and she doesn't know much about her dad except that his name is Steve because, like, their parents had, like, a one-night stand or something. So now this guy named Callum Royal shows up in her life and says he's now her guardian because both her parents are dead. So he just becomes her legal guardian, and now she has to stay with him and his five sons. Those five sons basically want her to leave. Like, they really don't like her, and they don't want her to become involved with their family. All of the boys are like so attractive like like she saw them and she just went crazy because they're like all so attractive so that's what the book is about she moves in with six guys and five of them are trying to get rid of her but then like they kind of like have a crush on each other eventually but I won't spoil but like it's kind of obvious because like what kind of book doesn't have any romance so it's a really good book if you like books where like the boy and the girl hate each other but then they like start to like each other so I really like this book because it had so many funny moments like I literally I was reading this at 3 a.m. and then a funny moment came and I literally had to laugh so loud I was so scared I would wake up my entire family and there were so many embarrassing cringy moments where like I felt so bad for the main character and I was like oh my god I'm so glad I'm not her and there's also a lot of cute moments. There's like everything in this book. It's so good. I'm gonna head into the spoilers section now. But if you haven't read it, you should definitely go ahead and read it now. Oh my god, this book was so good. Like, oh my god, it's like my favorite book. Like, I only have the first book. I have to get the second and the third because this is just so freaking good. So, my favorite character in this book is definitely Easton. Like, first of all, he's so attractive. And he's so funny, and like he's not as mean to Ella as Reed is. I wouldn't say I shipped him with Ella, even though I did in the beginning. I was like, Easton Reed, Easton Reed, Easton Reed, but then like I obviously ended up with Reed because you know it's Reed. But Easton is still my favorite character, and like he's always there for Ella whenever Reed's not there and I don't know I just love him he's so funny and I wish he was my boyfriend and I'm like so excited that Easton is getting his own book like I'm just so excited like I can't wait for it to come out I just love his relationship with Ella like 
he's so like they're so cute together not in a romantic way but they're just so funny and they get along so well unlike the other brothers and like I, I just love all their scenes and like I really enjoyed their kiss like I know that that like they're not supposed to because like she's with Reed but but like Eason and her were the first to kiss but the time they kiss I ship them together but I also ship her with Reed which was so confusing for me I also loved their second kiss like which was like in the like the like the club thing when she was like dancing in the cage and then she came down and then she was like kiss me like you mean it and then he's like it's okay you can pretend I'm Reed I'm pretending you're someone else too and I'm like oh you're pretending she's me right anyway I just like love their Easton and Ella's like relationship and their storyline character it's so funny I love all their scenes especially when like she just comes in his room to like watch TV or he just goes into her room to like hang out with her like I don't know I just find it really cute it's literally so funny how all the brothers think that she and Callum are having like a thing like they think that Callum invited her just because like he liked her or like wanted to like use her but then like actually Callum is like a dad to her but then like and it's so funny how like whenever she she goes like arm in arm with Callum all the brothers are like and then they think she's like doing stuff in the room with him especially on the yacht or like the boat scene where she asks Callum to go to a private room just so like the other brothers would think they're like doing something and like I don't know I just find that whole plot so funny and then like Easton asks her to be honest with him and then she's like no I'm not with your dad first of all gross and second of all gross another scene I liked is when like she tied him to that chair in the boat and then she just like left him there cause like he thought they were gonna like do something together and like the whole scene was so funny like she just like tied him up and she just left him like naked tied to a chair and then Easton had to like come and like unwrap him untie him or whatever and oh my god there were so many cringy moments like super embarrassing moments I literally like I closed my book and I was just like I can't read this anymore I want to skip this page like I can't go on any farther this is too embarrassing for her like the scene in the gym where what's her name Jordan gave her like a bra and an underwear or something and she just like wore it to the gym like a bra and an underwear into the gym and I was like oh my god don't do this and then like I put my book down and then I stopped for like five minutes to like brace myself for what was gonna happen but I eventually had to read it and it was so cringy like and like everyone was staring at her and they were just like cat fighting it was so funny and like another scene where I was so embarrassed for her was when she was going to Jordan's party and she was wearing like a fancy outfit and she goes to the car and all her brothers or brothers are wearing like t-shirt and jeans and then they're like <clears throat> and she's like oh they all played me and then she's like can I go change and they're like no we have to leave now we're gonna be late like I just felt so embarrassed for her like why would they do that to her like at least let her change like they want her to be embarrassed and I don't know, that scene was so cringy and I felt so bad for her. Something else I really loved about this book, like something I actually looked forward to, was Reed's night night visits where like he would just come in her bed and like cuddle with her. Like that was just so cute and I was like, oh my god. And I just like fell asleep. But then like in the morning he was like gone. And like the ending of the book, I felt so bad for her because like the older brother, what was his name? Like Gideon? Yeah, it was Gideon. Like, he called her and then he's like, oh, Rita's just gonna, like, break your heart or whatever. You should end things with him. And then she's like, yeah, whatever. And then she goes home and then she opens the room. And then Reed is there with, with Brooke. I hate Brooke. And then, like, he didn't even, like, say anything. He was just, like, staring at her. And, like, she was just staring at him. And she just left. And, like, I felt so bad for her. Like... I was like, Reed, why would you do that to her? I also really liked her relationship with Reed. I love how, like, in the beginning, they hate each other. And they're just, like, giving each other, like, like mean comments. Or, like, or, like talking bad about each other. And then, like, they gradually start to like each other. But they still pretend like they hate each other. So they would still say mean stuff to each other while, like, being in love. And I just, like, I love those type of books where, like, two people hate each other. But then they actually like each other. And then they, like 
fall in love in the end and it's just like so cute and that's why like i love this book and if you guys know any books that are like that then please tell me oh my god and that scene where like daniel like drugs her in like ecstasy and then like gideon is just like i think one of us should help her out and then reed is like no one no one but me and like that was so cute like no one but me like he's so like protective over her and like everything has to be like with him and i just found that so cute i had to read it so many times so i absolutely love reed and ella's like like the first legit conversation they had in the book like the scene where reed knocks on her door and she's like callum and he's like it's me reed and i was like oh it's reed i'm so excited for this scene and then he's like, you've got five seconds until I come in. And then she opens the door and she's like, what do you want? And he's like, I want to know what your game is. And it's so funny because he says, if you stay, we'll break you so bad that you'll be crawling away. Which is like such a foreshadow. Because like she stayed and then he broke her heart and then she ran away. Like, nice foreshadow there. And then like she walks to her bed and then she just like takes out her underwear and puts it on. And then like she's about to take off her shirt. And then he's like, news flash baby, you can do a strip tease in front of me every day and I still wouldn't do you. And I was like, oh, yeah, right, I bet you will. Because like, I mean, they're obviously gonna fall in love. Anyway, that is all for my review of the most amazing book, Paper Princess. If you just finished it, definitely go read the second one. That's it, bye! Why do I do this all the time? <sighs> Oh my god, it's so foggy. Okay, that's a reference to my to my last video. If you don't get it, then go watch my last video. Hashtag more revenue.